Horrid Henry and the Secret Club Chapter 4 Horrid Henry's Birthday Party February was Horrid Henry's favourite month. His birthday was in February. It's my birthday soon, said Henry every day after Christmas. And my birthday party, hooray! February was Horrid Henry's parents' least favourite month. It's Henry's birthday soon, said Dad, groaning. And his birthday party, said Mum, groaning even louder. Every year, they thought Henry's birthday parties could not get worse, but they always did. Every year, Henry's parents said they would never, ever let Henry have a birthday party again. But every year, they gave Henry one absolutely last final chance. Henry had big plans for this year's party. I want to go to Lazers Up, said Henry. He'd been to Lazers Up for tough Toby's party. They'd had great time dressing up as spacemen and blasting each other in dark tunnels all afternoon. No, said Mum. Too violent. I agree, said Dad. And too expensive, said Mum. I agree, said Dad. There was a moment's silence. However, said Dad, it does mean the party wouldn't be here. Mum looked at Dad. Dad looked at Mum. How do I book? said Mum. Hooray! shrieked Henry. Zap, zap, zap! Hurried Henry sat in his fort holding a pad of paper. On the front cover, in big capital letters, Henry wrote, Henry's party plans, top secret. At the top of the first page, Henry had written, guests. A long list followed. Then Henry stared at the names and chewed his pencil. Actually, I don't want Margaret thought Henry. Too moody. He crossed out moody Margaret's name. And I definitely don't want Susan. Too crabby. In fact, I don't want any girls at all, thought Henry. He crossed out clever Claire and lazy Linda. Then there was anxious Andrew. Nope, thought Henry, crossing him off. He's no fun. Toby was possible, but Henry didn't like him. Out went tough Toby. William? No way, thought Henry. He'll be crying the second he gets zapped. Out went weepy William. Ralph? Henry considered Ralph would be good because he was sure to get into trouble. On the other hand, he hadn't invited Henry to his party. Rude Ralph was struck off. So were Bubbling Bob, Jolly Josh, Greedy Graham and Dizzy Dave. And absolutely no way was Peter coming anywhere near him on his birthday. Ah, that was better. No horrid kids would be coming to his party. There was only one problem. Every single name was crossed off. No guests means no presents. Henry looked at his list. Margaret was a moody old grouch and he hated her, but she did sometimes give good gifts. He still had the jumbo box of day glow slime she had given him last year. And Toby had invited Henry to his party. And Dave was always spinning round like a top, falling and knocking things over, which was fun. Graham would eat too much and burp and Ralph was sure to say rude words and make all the grown-ups angry. Oh, let them all come, thought Henry, except Peter, of course. The more guests I have, the more presents I get. He turned to the next page and wrote, Presents I want. 
Super Soaker 2000, the best water blaster ever. Spy Fax, Micro Machines, Slime, Game Boy, Intergalactic Samurai Gorillas, Stink Bombs, Pet Rats, Whoopee Cushion, 25 gear mountain bike, Money. He'd leave the list lying around where Mum and Dad were sure to find it. I've done the menu for the party, said Mum. What do you think? Mum's menu. Carrot sticks, cucumber sandwiches, peanut butter sandwiches, grapes, raisins, apple juice, carrot cake. Blech, said Henry. I don't want that horrible food at my party. I want food that I like. Henry's menu. Pickled onion monster munch. Smoky spider shreddies. Super spicy hedgehog crisp. Crunchy crackles. Twizzle fizzle sticks. Purple planet buster drink. Chocolate bars. Chocolate eggs. Chocolate monster cake. You can't just have junk food, said Mum. It's not junk food, said Henry. Crisps are made from potatoes and Monster Munch has onions. That's two vegetables. Henry, said Mum. She looked fierce. Henry looked at his menu. Then he added in small letters at the bottom. Peanut butter sandwiches. But only in the middle of the table, said Henry. So no one has to eat them who doesn't want them. All right, said Mum. Years of fighting with Henry about his party has had worn her down. And Peter's not coming, said Henry. What? said perfect Peter, looking up from polishing his shoes. Peter is your brother, of course he's invited, Henry scowled. But he'll ruin everything. No Peter, no party, said Mum. Henry pretended he was a fire-breathing dragon. Ow! shrieked Peter. Don't be horrid, Henry, yelled Mum. All right, said Henry. He can come, but you'd keep out of my way, he hissed at Peter. Mum, wailed Peter. Henry's being mean to me. Stop it, Henry, said Mum. Henry decided to change the subject fast. What about party bags, said Henry. I want everyone to have slime and loads and loads of sweets. Dirt balls, nose pickers and foam teeth are the best. We'll see, said Mum. She looked at the calendar. Only two more days. Soon it would be over. Henry's birthday arrived at last. Happy birthday, Henry, said Mum. Happy birthday, Henry, said Dad. Happy birthday, Henry, said Peter. Where are my presents, said Henry. Dad pointed. Horrid Henry attacked the pile. Mum and Dad had given him a first encyclopedia, Scrabble, a fountain pen, a hand-knitted cardigan, a globe and three sets of vests and pants. Oh, said Henry. He pushed the dreadful presents aside. Anything else? he asked. Hopefully. Maybe they were keeping the super soaker for last. I've got a present for you, said Peter. I chose it myself. Henry tore off the wrapping paper. It was a tapestry kit. Yuck, said Henry. I'll have it if you don't want it, said Peter. No, said Henry, snatching up the kit. Wasn't it a great idea to have Henry's party at Lasers Up, said Dad. Yes, said Mum. No mess, no fuss. They smiled at each other. Ring, ring. <coughs> Dad answered the phone. It was the Lasers Up lady. Hello, I was just ringing to check the birthday boy's name, she said. We like to announce it over our loudspeaker during the party. Dad gave Henry's name. A terrible scream came from the other end of the phone. Dad held the receiver away from his ear. 
The shrieking and screaming continued. Hmm, said Dad. I see. Thank you. Dad hung up. He looked pale. Henry. Yeah? Is it true that you wrecked the place when you went to lasers up with Toby? Said Dad. No, said Henry. He tried to look harmless and trampled on several children. No, said Henry. Yes, you did, said Perfect Peter. And what about all the lasers you broke? What lasers, said Henry. And the slime you put in the spacesuits, said Peter. That wasn't me, Telltale, shrieked Henry. What about my party? I'm afraid lasers up have banned you, said Dad. But what about Henry's party, said Mum. She looked pale. But what about my party, wailed Henry. I want to go to lasers up. Never mind, said Dad brightly. I know lots of good games. Ding dong. It was the first guest, Sour Susan. She held a large present. Henry snatched the package. It was a pad of paper and some felt-tip pens. How lovely, said Mum. What do you say, Henry? I've already got that, said Henry. Henry, said Mum, don't be horrid. I don't care, thought Henry. This was the worst day of his life. Ding dong! It was a second guest, Anxious Andrew. He held a tiny present. Henry snatched the package. It's awfully small, said Henry, tearing off the wrapping. And it smells. It was a box of animal soaps. How super, said Dad. What do you say, Henry? Err, said Henry. Henry, said Dad, don't be horrid. Henry stuck out his lower lip. It's my party and I'll do what I want, muttered Henry. Watch your step, young man, said Dad. Henry stuck out his tongue behind Dad's back. More guests arrive. Lazy Linda gave him a... A read and listen cassette of favourite fairy tales. Cinderella, Snow White and Sleeping Beauty. Fabulous, said Mum. Yuck, said Henry. Clever Care handed him a square package. Henry held it by the corners. It's a book, he groaned. My favourite present, said Peter. Wonderful, said Mum. What is it? Henry unwrapped it slowly. Cook your own healthy, nutritious food. Great, said Peter. Can I borrow it? No, screamed Henry. Then he threw the book on the floor and stomped on it. Henry, hissed Mum. I'm warning you. When someone gives you a present, you say thank you. Rude Ralph was the last to arrive. He handed Henry a long rectangular package wrapped in newspaper. It was a Super Soaker 2000 water blaster. Oh, said Mum. Put it away, said Dad. Thank you, Ralph, beamed Henry. Just what I wanted. Let's start with past the parcel, said Dad. I hate past the parcel, said horrid Henry. What a horrible party this was. I love past the parcel said Perfect Peter. I don't want to play, said Sour Susan. When do we eat? said Greedy Graham. Dad started the music. Pass the parcel, William, said Dad. No, shrieked William, it's mine. But the music is still playing, said Dad. William burst into tears. Horrid Henry tried to snatch the parcel. Dad stopped the music. William stopped crying instantly and tore off the wrapping. A granola bar, he said. That's a terrible prize, said Rude Ralph. Is it my turn yet? said Anxious Andrew. When do we eat? said Greedy Graham. I hate past the parcel, screamed Henry. I want to play something else. Musical statues, announced Mum brightly. You're out. Henry, said Dad, you moved. I didn't, said Henry. Yes, you did, said Toby. No, I didn't, said
said Henry. I'm not leaving. That's not fair, shrieked Sour Susan. I'm not playing, whined Dizzy Dave. I'm tired, sulked Lazy Linda. I hate musical statues, moaned Moody Margaret. Where's my prize? demanded Rudolph. A bookmark, said Ralph. That's it. Tea time, said Dad. The children pushed and shoved their way to the table, grabbing and snatching at the food. I hate fizzy drinks, said Tough Toby. I feel sick, said Greedy Graham. Where are the carrot sticks, said Perfect Peter. Horrid Henry sat at the head of the table. He didn't feel like throwing food at Claire. He didn't feel like rampaging with Toby and Ralph. He didn't even feel like kicking Peter. He wanted to be at Lazers Up. Then Henry had a wonderful, spectacular idea. He got up and sneaked out of the room. Party bags, said Dad. What's in them, said Tough Toby. Seedlings, said Mum. Where are the sweets? said Greedy Graham. This is the worst party bag I've ever had, said Rue Ralph. There was a noise outside. Then Henry burst into the kitchen, super soaker in hand. Zap, 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 shrieked Henry, drenching everyone with water. Ha ha, gotcha. Splat went the cake, splash went the drinks. Shrieked the sopping wet children. Henry! yelled Mum and Dad. You horrid boy! yelled Mum. Water dripped from her hair. Go to your room. This is your last party ever! yelled Dad. Water dripped from his clothes. But Henry didn't care. They said that every year. The end.